Hello you guys and welcome back. So I have a Revolve haul to share with you guys in today's video, which I have never shared before. I've never done a Revolve haul, but I have quite a few pieces and a little collection of items uh, from their new arrivals that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in today's video. So I hope you're excited. Stay tuned if you wanna see. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description for easy shopping. And let's go ahead and get started, jump right in. So first I have this set. It is really cute. I love the color of it, first of all. It's like this dusty blue and it's a sweater material and I really, really like the material of it. It's soft, it's like not itchy, it's not too thick, it's just perfect. And I just love the style of this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, Okay, we're adding to cart. It is so cute. And I thought it could be just super adorable for the holidays and winter weather, if you have like a party or something coming up. And I just thought this could be so cute for the holidays and just like a nice switch up, a nice change from what I usually gravitate towards and would think of for a holiday or holiday festivity outfit. Um, but I love this. It's from Super Down and I'm wearing an extra small. Um, I have a bra on with this, so it is bra friendly. And I love that obviously the two pieces go together or you could mix and match with things that you already have in your closet and you can wear them separately too. Um, so it has this tie here. You can cinch it more if you want, but I liked it just as it was. And uh, you can do the same here on the skirt. And I think both pieces fit really, really well. Um, I love that I have just this tiny sliver of skin out. I think it is perfect and it's kind of sexy and I just, I like the balance of it. And the length of the skirt I think is really good too so I'm super happy with this. It fits really, really well and it does have an elastic waistband um, in the skirt too. And then for this look, I paired it with white boots. This I felt like was very me. This is definitely like what I would grab for and gravitate towards and I just love this outfit. So next I have this sweater from Lacademy and I love the green. I think it's especially perfect with like Christmas coming up and I love green in general, but I think it's super pretty in winter too. It's just like a pretty kind of forest green almost, um, but it's an oversized turtleneck. I love the way that this turtleneck fits. I like that it's not constricting on my neck. I've found that I just don't really like that style. I like when it's kind of like an oversized turtleneck that has some room to it, if I'm making any sense. Um, but the material of this is really nice. It's like perfectly thick, but it's not too hot. It has a raw hem and it is a true crop. I'm wearing an extra small in this and I forgot to change my bra. I'm wearing like my usual strapless bra that I always wear. But I think if I were to actually wear this out, I would honestly just wear like a sports bra or a bralette underneath. And I think that would also give me a little bit more length too, because this is like taking up so much space right now. Um, and I have a large chest and I feel like there's no point in even trying to accentuate anything in a sweater because I end up just making myself look top heavy, which I do not like. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, but I wouldn't even wear like a real bra. I would just do a bralette or a sports bra and I think that would be perfect, but I love the balloon sleeves on this. Very, very cute. Um, the back comes down and like meets the top of my jeans perfectly so I love that and I just paired this with these Abercrombie jeans and Amazon booties super cute like this is something I would totally wear on Christmas Eve or just like a casual little holiday get together I think with a white scarf like it would be so cute and honestly maybe help like with the exposed midsection time and place i know but and this comes in a ton of other colors so if you're not into the green there's definitely some neutrals and i think there's a couple other pops of color too okay i thought this next dress was really cute and could be especially perfect if you are somebody who has any plans for new year's eve or surrounding events but how cute is this i love the feather detail which you already know if you watch my lulu's haul i'm obsessed with feathers so naturally i saw this and i was spooning and i loved that this was a velvet is this velvet or satin i, I think it's satin no velvet 
I'm really over here blanking on what the material of this is called, but it is so soft. I really like it. And I like the way that it looked. And I loved the little spaghetti straps. These are not adjustable, so keep that in mind. And I'm wearing an extra small. And overall, I really like the fit. I think the length is good. Like, I like how it fits throughout the body. Um, the only area that I'm needing to figure out is this top part. I have a bra on, but I think ideally if I was actually wearing this into the real world, I might need to figure out a different solution. I definitely don't feel like I could go braless in this, like I would need something, but because I guess my chest is larger, it's pushing this out, which maybe nobody else can tell, but I can, and it's kind of bothering me. So it's like sloped where it should just be, you know, like straight. It's not, it's like kind of poking out. So I don't really know what to do about that, but it's really, really cute. Um, the other thing I would say is if I was wearing this out into the real world, I would have on nude undergarments. You could probably see mine cause mine are like green and uh, I would probably figure out a Spanx situation. The material is nice, but it's not like super thick. I feel like you can definitely see. And I think I would just want things like smoothed out a little bit, but it's really cute. It has a zipper in the back. And then like I mentioned, the length is good. And on this one, the feathers do just go around the front. So they stop at the back and then it's just plain, but I love the front feather detail. I just have these paired with heels. I don't really have like a ton of heel options, but I just went with a neutral and if I was wearing this out obviously for New Year's I would get some extra coat probably faux fur or something okay this next one I was literally laughing to myself as I was putting it on because I one didn't think it was gonna come together like the outfit and two I have on a Walmart sweater with the revolved skirt and I just feel like that's very me <laughs> Anyways, I picked up this skirt from Revolve and the brand is super down and I'm wearing an extra small and I thought it looked really cute on the website. I like the little like tassels that it had on it and I thought it could be really cute. Another one that I felt like could work for New Year's Eve or holiday type outfits, um, but would also transition well into other things throughout the year, like a concert or something like that. So I grabbed it. It is a um, satin material, has a wrap front detail, but it's already fixed, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, like you are not wrapping it, it's just like permanently like this. And then it has a tie detail. The tie doesn't do anything. It's literally for decoration, it's just there. Um, and then it has the tassels. So I do feel like the slit is pretty high. So there's that. Um, I don't mind it, but definitely like time and place for me. I don't know that this would necessarily be like family appropriate, but I guess it just depends. Um, I do feel like it's a little longer than I was thinking, which maybe I guess it just balances out since the wrap slit is so high on it i don't know but at first when i was putting this on i was like uh, this feels a little long to me but i guess that's a good thing it does have a good bit of length so you definitely won't feel like you're falling out of the skirt at all and the little chain fringe detail goes around the entire skirt um I'm almost on the fence and feeling like maybe I should have even done an extra, extra small, which seems excessive, but I do have a little bit of room in the waist. So I do kind of feel like I could have sized down on this. Overall, it's very, very cute. And ultimately when I saw this, like I just knew I would want to pair it with a sweater and like balance it out. That's just me. It's my style. It's what I gravitate towards. So I just really envision this being styled this way with like a cozy sweater. You have the skirt, which is like the little pop and like a little edgy, but you're still cozy on the top. And then I have it paired with boots because it just felt right. It did. Um, but obviously if you're somebody who actually goes out, I was trying to be realistic for my life. I never go out. Like I don't go out to clubs or like bars or anything like that. I just do not. But if I did, and if you're somebody who does, obviously there's a million and one ways you could take the skirt and just like make it more 
appropriate, appropriate for that and like just make this outfit sexier. Um, and you could of course pair it with heels and you could do like a completely different top. So there's options, but if you are a homebody who just likes to dress up and be cute, then this is, this is what I got for you. Another festive piece that I picked up, or I guess it could not be, but I felt like it was festive because of the little diamond tassels is this tank top. Um, it just looks like a white tank top with the tassels. And so it's super simple, but I loved it. I thought it was so cute. So I grabbed it. Um, this material is actually really nice. It is super thick. It's not adjustable or anything. There is a zipper on the side, but it's just like a very thick, like suck you in sort of material, which I thought was nice because I was not expecting that. But like I mentioned, there's just this band of like diamond tassels that goes around. It is a crop top, but I feel like this gives it a little bit more length. Um, and it goes around the entire backside too, which is really cute. Um, I'm wearing an extra small. I would say the fit is good. I am wearing a bra just because it's white. I do not trust not wearing a bra. I feel like you would be able to see. And I am not a girly who can just reball it with the little pasties on. I can't do that. So um, bra it is. <laughs> if you're somebody who doesn't want to put in a lot of effort into a holiday or like New Year's Eve outfit, I feel like a top like this would be the easiest option. You just grab it and it looks so cute with faux leather pants. I just put on silver heels because I felt like that brought it all together. So cute, so simple, still very comfy and you look festive so i love that and lastly i have this bodysuit i love the brown color and i don't know if you all can tell let me move my hair but it's asymmetrical which i do like the look of but i'm not gonna lie it's a bit awkward to move around in so that's the only downside i feel like maybe if you were just wearing this to dinner and like didn't really have to move your arm a lot um, then that wouldn't be too bad, but I definitely wouldn't wear this for any sort of activity because they're just a little restricted with what you can do with this arm. But the concept of it is really cute. The quality of this is very nice as well. It's from Lovers and Friends. I feel like they always have really nice quality pieces and I, I do love the look of it. I would probably wear this to like a date night or something. I think that would be cute. Um, it's a thong bodysuit. It's double lined. It's like a ribbed material. So there is a little stretch to it, but honestly, not too much stretch, if that makes sense. Not a super flexible material. Um, and I'm wearing an extra small. I think sizing wise, it's good. I don't think I could, should have gone up to a small and I definitely don't think I should have sized down at all. I think it's just honestly the style of this bodysuit and how it's made, which just makes it a little bit more on that restrictive side for this arm. It comes in um, quite a few colors if I remember correctly, but I liked this shade. I thought I would get a lot of use out of it. Um, and I just paired it with a pair of jeans and some boots. I just thought this would be like slightly elevated casual. I think you could dress it up more and like do it with the faux leather pants and like a heeled booty. Um, and that would be more of like a chic vibe, I feel like. And yeah, it has this thick band that goes around, which is why I can't move my arm and there's a little bit of like a ruching detail on the side here but but yeah I do I do like it my only reservation on this would just be like the movement of the arm especially for how much it is it's a beautiful top but it is a bit expensive to me anyways all right you guys well that is going to wrap up and conclude today's video so I hope you all enjoyed seeing some pieces from Revolve let me know if you like this if you want to see more Revolve hauls in the future or if there's anywhere else that you want to see some outfit ideas from but thank you all so so much for tuning back in and watching Watching. Love you and until next time.